morning. I feel really old. The allergic reaction I had on my face to that lip balm left it really, really dry and like cracked and stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like really, really dry around right the areas where it swelled up really badly. So I got, well, Kevin got for me this L'Oreal Age Perfect Cream stuff because it like has proteins in it and shit that like rebuilds your skin and I feel so old. <laughs> Starting with menopause, skin loses up to 30% of its own substance due to hormonal changes, reducing skin's underlying cushion and support. Yay, old people cream. It's another gorgeous day. I just love it. Make some breakfast. Make some breakfast for myself, Duda. Duda. Happy Pie Day, everyone. If you don't know what Pie Day is, Pi is, you know, the mathematical 3.14159, blah, 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 So 3.14 is the standard shortening used for pi. And uh, today is March 14th, which is 3.14. Can I help you? Aww. You want some food? Okay, well, come on then. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Eat slowly. She's so cute. Okay, now I'm checking my stuff. I need to edit. I need to catch up on yesterday's vlog and everything. Oh my god. Yeah, if my camera does that one more time, I swear to god, I'm gonna kick somebody in the face. It's right in the fucking middle. Nice job, you're doing it right. I'm doing it right! Yeah, I figured out that if I leave the knife stationary in one spot and move the green pepper, it's a whole lot easier. Yeah! <laughs> green pepper! Oh my god! Mocha, you're so cute. <laughs> I think I'll go outside. So in honor of Pie Day today, I'm going to make Kevin a pie. Shh. The reason I'm doing this is because, well, I don't particularly care for pie. Yeah, I know. <gasps> I don't like it. I don't know. I just don't like it. So I can't make myself the pies that I like, which is coconut cream pie and banana cream pie. Those are like the only pies that I can stand. 
because they have a bunch of milk in them and well I can't have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make Kevin a peanut butter cream pie. Got this pre-made graham cracker crust thing and I'm gonna make some pastry cream and put some peanut butter in it and we're gonna call it a pie. Happy pie day Mocha! You want some pie? Just to save everyone the agony of saying, do a tutorial, because like, I know as soon as I show the pie, everyone's like, do a tutorial, do a tutorial, because every time I make food, that's what people say. But not enough people like my food videos, my tutorials, um, to make it worth putting a lot of time and effort into making a tutorial, so I'm just going to go ahead and just quick show you guys how to do this, because it's really, really simple. And the best part is... I can't say for all cookbooks, obviously, because I don't know about all cookbooks, but the majority of cookbooks that I've seen won't tell you how to do this properly. Get ready, because you're about to have infinite wisdom inflicted upon you, so pay attention. One of these big saucepans like this is what I'm going to use. Two and a half cups of milk. I'm going to just put that in the saucepan. Also, um, three-fourths cup of sugar. The way you want to do the sugar you put about a third of it in the bowl, and then you put the other third in the pot with the milk. Because you're going to scald the milk, the sugar will prevent it from um, scorching, burning up. You turn the burner on to like medium high, like that. You're not wanting to boil the milk, you're wanting to scald it. And what that means is you just look for steam to be rising out of it. As soon as like steam starts to rise, you're done. Then you have to prepare your eggs, and there's four of them. I'm not doing a meringue pie because I'm doing the kind that you don't have to bake since it's in a pre it's in a pre-made graham cracker crust. You want egg yolks for this. You'd have to separate your eggs. So four eggs, separate the whites from the yolks, and you're gonna use the yolks. And if you're going to make a meringue pie, like put the meringue on the top, then save your egg whites for that. And I won't be able to help you with that. Because if you don't know how to make meringue, you can look it up and I don't need to show you that because it's easy. Alright, there's my egg yolks. It also calls for a fourth of a cup of cornstarch, which I'm going to put in with the sugar. You're going to be combining the eggs and the sugar and the cornstarch, but not right away because um, as soon as you do that, it's going to start to like goop up and that's the whole thing that you don't want to happen until you're like exactly ready for it to happen. So you have to wait. I need a tablespoon of butter. Butter knife that won't cut through butter. Interesting. And when this milk is done, I'm going to like combine it in this giant bowl. So I took a towel, this, put it underneath the bowl. That'll keep it from sliding around. You're going to have to temper the eggs into that without it being all crazy. As you can see that there's steam coming off of the milk. So now, milk's done. Combine the eggs and the sugar and the cornstarch into this bowl. Now add half of the milk while stirring. Make sure that the egg doesn't basically cook and turn into scrambled eggs while you're doing it. That's basically the point. Traditionally you want to whisk together the egg yolks and the cornstarch and the sugar and everything before you know you pour the milk in but I had a I was busy with a camera and didn't get to it. So <laughs> whisk those things together before you dump the milk in. Now, still have half the milk in here. You put this back in here. Return it to the heat and cook and stir until it is thick. It sounds and kind of looks complicated, but it really is easy. Most cookbooks have you just like throwing it all in, in a pan and cooking it and adding everything in the pan. Anybody who knows what they're doing would wince at that procedure, like seriously. This is how you make good pastry cream. And you like have to stir consistently, otherwise it's going to stick to the bottom of the pan and burn. This is starting to thicken up really nice. I've been stirring it for a couple of minutes now. See when I stop, bubbles start to pop up like that. That's how you know it's about ready. Remove from heat. This is where I add my tablespoon of butter, teaspoon of vanilla. Stir that up. And the reason that you don't have to bake this type of pie is because you just cooked the filling. You just cooked the insides. So um, 
yeah, it doesn't need to be baked or anything, especially if you're using a ready-made graham cracker crust. This is where I add the peanut butter. You can basically add as much or as little as you want. It's basically a to taste thing. Also, I just want to point out, this is the part in the procedure. If you're making banana cream pie, you'd add like banana extract. And if you're making coconut cream pie, this is where you would add coconut extract and shredded coconut. So this is like a basic base pastry cream base for all cream pies. So this is peanut butter, so I'm adding peanut butter. That's in there, I'm just gonna stir that up. Oh yeah, and definitely use creamy peanut butter for this. Don't use crunchy. It won't work very well. <laughs> there, starting to look nice and peanut buttery. And while the filling's still hot, you pour it into the crust. It's that easy. There it is. Got a little bit left over, but I'm sure Kevin will not argue with snacking on that with something. <laughs> There's peanut butter cream pie. Just I'm just gonna let that sit and just kind of sit there for a few minutes, and then um, once it's a little bit cooler, I'm gonna cover it with saran wrap and put it in the fridge and chill it, because that's what you have to do. I told Kevin to bring home some whipped cream because uh, whipped cream goes on the top of this since I'm not using the meringue. And I hope he likes it. Yum, 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 yum. So that's how I celebrate Pie Day. What's up? What's up? Hey, Bruno. You don't have to get down. Aww. Is Kevin home? <laughs> yeah, he is. Did you get the whipped cream? <laughs> hey, Hi. whipped cream! Thank you. This cream is whipped. Think funny, this cream? Whoop! <laughs> I shall try. 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 <laughs> Rod Dower. Rod Dower. You're really hungry. You're really hungry? You want me to make you something? Yeah, can I have some breakfast? Yes! You can have some breakfast. Dude, some guy at the post office told me my hat was awesome. Nice. Yeah, I had it on you know, I had it on backwards like I always do, and he held the door he was holding the door for his woman, maybe? I'm not sure if it was a woman. <laughs> it had like a bandana on it. They were like biker people, that's why I couldn't tell. And I walked past and, and he and I was like, thank you, like no problem. And then I got like halfway down the hall and he said, he said, uh, that's an awesome hat. And I'm not sure if he was talking to me. I said thank you because I thought he was talking to me, but I'm not, I'm like, he wasn't like, hey, no problem or anything. So I wasn't sure if he was talking to me. He said like something, but he might have been talking to somebody else. I'm not sure. So when I walked out, I looked for anybody wearing a hat. And the only person wearing a hat was him. So I'm like, he must have said it to me, but what is he telling me that was an awesome hat? Or is he telling his woman that I had an awesome hat? I don't know. You're like a woman, you know? Freaking out over these little details, wondering. Well, I just didn't want to look stupid. I think he's discovered our secret. It's Pie Day! I wanted to make you a pie! Pie Day. Yeah, I can't wait till 2015. Everybody's gonna freak out then. The next two digits of pie are 1-5. Oh. Make it crazy! <laughs> crazy! Go see what Mocha's up to. <laughs> Mocha, what are you doing? I'm going to stop this vlog right now because my camera keeps malfunctioning and it's really pissing me off. Malfunction! So, and I've got a lot of editing to do, so I will bid you adieu. Adieu. I'll bid you a... a B. Ke it's another verb. Kevin bid you all a B. A B. A B B B.